German lawmakers voted on Thursday in favor of supplying Ukraine with heavy weapons and complex weapon systems to help Zelensky's government fight against the Russian forces. Does this mean Germany is now officially part of the Ukraine proxy war? Time will tell. But for now, Germany decided to send anti-aircraft systems and armored vehicles in addition to sending heavier equipment to Eastern NATO allies as well. The motion also calls for deploying more soldiers to boost the anti-Russian alliance's presence in Eastern Europe and encourage Russian soldiers to lay down their arms and seek asylum in Germany and the EU. Where have we seen this scenario before? In any case, 100 lawmakers voted against the petition, rightly arguing that the move felt close to a declaration of war against Russia, and it may escalate into a nuclear war. Ironically, the Alternative for Germany party, which is accused by the mainstream parties and the German press of being far-right, has refused the motion because it would prolong the fighting and the weapons may end up in the hands of the self-declared neo-Nazis in Ukraine. On the other end of the political spectrum, while the Socialist Left Party refused the motion, the self-proclaimed left-wing Green Party, which once called for leaving NATO, by the way, in the past, has become one of the most pro-transatlantic parties in Germany and supported the motion, although the motto of Annalena Baerbock when she was a candidate for the Greens was no weapons and armaments in war zones. Now that she is the foreign minister of Germany, she voted in favor of sending heavy weapons to Ukraine. Is it hypocrisy or have the circumstances changed? Look, I live in Germany and I have to be careful with choosing my words. But when the German Die Welt newspaper claims the Azov Battalion is not a neo-Nazi group, although Azov itself says they are leading the white races of the world in a final crusade against Semite-led subhumans Untermenschen. And when a senior reporter at Cicero magazine says, even if Germany triggered World War III by increasing arms sales to Ukraine, it would be the first world war in which Germany would be on the right side of history, then maybe, just maybe, something has gone wrong. And the feminist foreign policy Annalena Baerbock promised us isn't really feminist after all.